TEDx! TEDx women, what could possibly go wrong, people? What do Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, and Charles Darwin all have in common? They have a penis! No, no. Facial hair! Uh, uh, uh... Scientists? No, wait. Are they men? A lot. You did not give us the answer. You just said a lot. That is a cryptic answer. In fact, that is not even an answer. How dare you tease us with a question and then not give us the answer when we cannot figure it out? How dare you? How very dare you? What do those guys have in common with me? Not so much. Again, with these cryptic answers. What do you mean you don't have a lot? It's clear you work in a STEM field. They also worked in the STEM field. Therefore, I assume that is a similarity that you have with those three men. But I'm going to answer what you want to hear. And what you want to hear is the fact that we don't have much in common because I'm a lady. But I'm also going to answer with another answer that you won't like to hear. And that is they actually have brain cells that can formulate a proper argument. You do not. No applause. So you awkwardly smile. Growing up, when I thought about groundbreaking innovators, people like that were who came to mind first. People who had accomplished unbelievable things, but who came from different backgrounds than me, who looked different from me, and who probably behaved a lot differently than me. Why, of course they acted and looked different than you. One, they're white guys. Two, they're from a completely different time period than you. Three, they're men, so of course they act differently to you. But this is besides the point. This is not a literal thing that you want. We're not supposed to take it as that. We're supposed to take it as, because you're a woman, it's different. It makes it more difficult. And because you're a fellow Asian, that it makes it oh so difficult. Is that what we're trying to say? Is this another victim narrative bullshit as, as a way to answer for why women aren't getting into STEM? Are you trying to blame the fact that because they're men and the fact that when we think of great scientific minds, they're mostly men, that's somehow a problem. Am I predicting what you're about to argue already? So when I realized that I loved studying and working in science, it kind of came as a surprise. And what I've learned is that... You stumbled for words just then. Did you forget what you were going to say? Did you, did you not bother to memorize your own speech? Or is there somebody speaking into that microphone of yours, in that little headset that you've got? Or are you just genuinely dumb for a scientist? I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to take anything away from the speech. That was just a very long and awkward pause. My own background and my limited view about my future is actually far from uncommon. Every young person has worries about their future. Every young person has a limited view of their future as well. I do not know where you're going with this. I don't know what this has to do with those three giants of science. And I don't know what it has to do with you, what it has to do with women, what it has to do with science. It has everything to do with you, but it has nothing to do with STEM and women, but I'm sure you'll get to that. Women are seriously underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, and math, collectively known as the STEM fields. Men outnumber women one to six in college engineering, Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Visa, Visa, oh, why are you something over your words? Do you not have any public speaking skills at all? Do you not know how to memorize a speech? How can you do this at such an important and supposedly prestigious talking event as TEDx? And why do you have such an issue with men being in the majority of these STEM fields? Why is that a problem? It's not harming anyone. Women are choosing not to go into these fields for whatever reason. Though I'd like to wager it's because of you feminists fear-mongering them saying that it's a toxic environment. But, you know, we'll save that for later. For now, let's just revel in your ineptitude. Men outnumber women 1 to 10, actually, in college engineering classes, 1 to 6 in the engineering workforce, and the women who do have STEM careers end up making on average only 86 cents to a man's dollar. Citation needed for that statistic. Ah, the old wage gap myth keeps cropping up in all of these useless and pathetic feminist speeches that do nothing 
to save the world do nothing to change anything other than line their own pockets making them a little bit richer on the side but not really doing anything else for the world and just generally making us all have to put up with shit like this and messing with my brain and making me feel like mush now to answer this it's very simple really women don't work as much as men women take more breaks than men they don't negotiate as competitively and as hard as men do for higher wages there's loads of other reasons why they aren't paid as much as men on average over the course of their careers although she's trying to make it look they aren't paid as much as men where in fact they are paid the same wages but for other reasons they do not earn as much over the course of a year and their careers she's trying to mislead us and again why is it such a problem that it's male dominated nobody has a problem that nursing or teaching is female dominated nobody cares in fact we don't care so much that when a teacher commits statutory rape we victim blame although that might be hyperbole and perhaps off topic but do you see my point and you can't even get your facts straight anyway so stop giving us one statistic then immediately correcting yourself because this shows a lack of preparation for this speech and one must wonder why you are here in the first place were you really the best that feminism could bring for their side of the argument i mean seriously i mean this is just a train wreck but we don't need to know the statistics to understand the current culture of stem statistics are useless feels on the other hand now there's something that is useful for my argument because statistics mystics you know i mean i'm a feminist who needs that shit all i need is a parrot the same old bullshit use anecdotal evidence and hey ho let's go i've got myself a lovely narrative and an argument for you guys to savor at home all we need to do is watch an episode of silicon valley a show about a tech startup and wonder where are the women in this world and what are they doing ah a tv show that's a great source for a debate that's a great source for an argument for which to base an entire speech on as well isn't it well done love well fucking done would you like a sticker would you like a brownie point would you like to be in the teacher's good books well done you use a tv show as a source wow expert expert that's what you are expert i'm not even being grammatically correct you are expert but in our society the lack of women in stem has become so normalized that most young girls don't even really consider pursuing a career in one of these fields no 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 you see i could say it's become so normalized in nursing that it's female dominated that most men just don't consider it a viable job forget personal choice it's the patriarchy that's at fault for this i know you didn't mention it but that's clear what you're trying to say you're trying to say that it's society's fault that these women aren't going into stem despite the fact that these people have their own choices and they clearly just don't want to be in stem for whatever reason why is this some people will tell you that women just aren't as adept at hard sciences and quantitative reasoning as men who or whom citation needed visa citation fucking needed but that's definitely not true looking at this speech from you i'm not surprised that some people think that and look can you hear the sound of muffled awkward laughter that's the sound of an appreciative yet pitying audience others will tell you that women just aren't interested in stem that is correct on many levels but citation needed who is saying this apart from me and a few other people like me but, but but come on no citations have been presented and this idea is a little more complicated pray do tell we know that boys and girls report equivalent levels of interest throughout school up until high school citation needed but at high school interest begins to decline in girls but i think there's more to the story and girls aren't losing their interest in stem for no reason or maybe they didn't have any interest in the first place in science, getting answers is the easy part, especially answers we want to hear. But the hard part, and the most important part, is making sure that we're asking the right questions in the first place. 
there's been a huge effort aimed at trying to prepare women for the STEM world. But I think maybe the real question is, how can we prepare the STEM world for women? I th <laughs> so this is how meritocracy dies, with muted applause. Yeah, pardon the Star Wars joke, but please, is this seriously your plan for getting more women into STEM? By basically moulding STEM into a system where it suits women more than men, gives women more advantages than men, rather than let women, through their own interests and hard work, succeed. That's wrong in many, many levels. It's not only does it shift the balance that is already there because even though there are more men than women by choice not through normalization due to the patriarchy as you inferred this means that women will have far more of an advantage to succeed than men this will make things unfair and if this is seriously your answer to this pro problem that you speak of then thank god at the moment you do not run this field because it will just collapse. The meritocracy has worked just fine. I think that this lack of interest we're seeing is largely driven by some unwelcoming aspects of STEM industry. Oh, it could possibly be due to the war stories that feminists love to tell to young, impressionable women who are hoping to succeed in STEM. That STEM is a horrible, misogynist place full of evil nerds who will destroy them at any point. Like the prevailing boys club culture in many areas of science and tech. See what I mean? It's because it's got men in it. Is that a reason why women don't go into these fields? It's because there's men in there. Or is there too many men? What is it with this fucking boys club thing that I keep seeing over and over again? Every time that we have debates about these issues, it's always, Oh, this old boys club is, is, is ruining gaming. Oh, it's ruining STEM. It's stopping women from being gamers and being STEM field scientists and engineers. Oh my god. What is wrong with a boys club? There's nothing wrong with all girl clubs. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing at all wrong with all girl institutions. But as soon as we have an all male institution, oh boy, this is horrible. This is nasty. We've got to destroy it because equality, man. What the fuck? Why is that a bad thing? You've yet to give me a reason why this is a bad thing. What do you mean a boys club mentality? They're fucking nerds. They're not jocks. Why do you think they're in that field in the first place? You can ask women who work in these fields, and a lot of them will tell you that they end up hiding their femininity, and they strive to be one of the guys in order to avoid being ostracized by their colleagues. Citation needed. Anecdotal evidence is not enough to prove to me that a so-called boys club culture is stopping women from entering STEM fields and somehow destroying their femininity. Why would you need to destroy your femininity in order to fit in with STEM? STEM is one of the most female-friendly places on the planet. They want women to join them. They are desperate for women to join them. These men love the fact that they have female colleagues. Because, I know this is probably anecdotal, but men don't like working with other men all the time. It's not that we don't get along. It just gets boring without women. That's all. A woman in a place like that would be a breath of fresh air to these guys. The idea that they want these women to abandon their femininity to fit in is patently absurd. That's a little ridiculous. Oh, dear. Oh, very, very, very dear. So, what are we going to do about it? <laughs> I think we can start off by... By... Destroying gender equality and the meritocracy that currently exists within this field. You know, the system that got you where you are now. Without this system, you would not be making this talk about trying to destroy the very system that helped you be where you are. Discussing these issues that we've experience and making sure that we're not going through them alone. Yeah, shut up men, the women are talking about women's issues, darlings. What I learned um, through some of my mentors at UNM in college is that somebody can really thrive from just having someone else believe in them. 
I always thought that I wasn't science material, but I was lucky enough to come across teachers and employers who had no doubts about my ability and set no limits on what I was capable of doing. So eventually, when I looked at the data about myself, I was forced to conclude that I could be a scientist. And importantly, I could be a leader in science. So I got really excited about this. What has your personal sob story got to do with this argument? Also, learn some proper public speaking skills. And for the past couple of years, I've worked with an organization that offers free science education to kids in South Valley neighborhood in Albuquerque. And what I've taken away from this experience is Albuquerque is an amazing place because there's so many women doing incredible things in STEM. And you're going to be hearing from a couple of them later today. And these women can serve as incredible role models. If you take an uncertain kid, show her someone who came from a similar background and who's doing incredible things, and offer her an opportunity to lead the group, you can inspire some serious growth and confidence. You keep mentioning your background as if that was some kind of barrier. You're Indian. Your ethnic group, at least in the UK at least, but I'm not surprised if it was the same case in America, especially as among males at least, them and Chinese Americans and white Americans are amongst the most successful and most employed ethnic groups in STEM. You cannot talk about your background being a barrier and giving you low confidence in your abilities. That may come from you inside, because this is very much projection. You're trying to project the ho your insecurities onto women in who want to come into STEM rather than, you know, reality. Your background has nothing to do with this. That is a non sequitur of the highest order. So, I want to see my organization and others step up and offer a voice to girls in the world through STEM mentorship. These girls have no voice in STEM, yet here you are at TEDx telling this audience that they don't have a voice. Well done, love. Well done. I believe that if we share... Now, there has to be something in that earpiece that is telling you what to say. No one can be this bad at public speaking, especially when you must have prepared for this beforehand. You can't be this inept. Who we are, what we bring to our jobs, and what we bring to the world, we can create amazing things. So, if we want to invest in the future of our society, let's all get our 86 cents together and we can make some big changes. Smash the meritocracy, smash the patriarchy, destroy men's safe spaces, do not let men have safe spaces, we can't have any male dominated places even if they're doing nothing at all to anybody in particular, only then will we have true equality. I've had enough of these people for one day. This has been Chamiman93, like and share the video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you all later.